sa unang bahagi ng video na ito, aalamin natin ang mga MOVs na maaari nating ilagay sa ating RPMS portfolio. Sa ikalawang bahagi naman, pag-uusapan natin ang pag-organize ng mga MOV sa ating portfolio. Isang paalala, ang link para ma-download ang sample template ay maaaring lumabas sa iba't ibang bahagi ng video, kaya mas mabuting panoorin ang buong video. Ngunit bago tayo magkumpisa, huwag kalimutan na mag-subscribe at i-click ang bell icon para sa mga updates. Narito ang mga means of verification or MOV para sa mga teachers 1 to 3 or proficient teachers. Key result area number 1, Content Knowledge and Pedagogy. First Objective Ang main MOV para sa objective number 1 ay Classroom Observation Tool or COT Rating Sheets and or Inter-Observer Agreement Forms on Knowledge of Content within and across Curriculum Teaching Areas. Narito ang mga supporting MOV na maaaring ilagay sa objective number 1. Anyone used during observation that highlights application of knowledge of content within and across curriculum teaching areas. Maaaring isama ang lesson plan, performance task, activity sheet, instructional material, test material, and others. Objective number two. Main MOV para sa objective na ito ay COT rating sheets and or inter-observer agreement forms on the use of teaching strategies na nagpo-promote ng literacy and or numeracy skills. Ang supporting MOV na maaaring gamitin ay anyone used during observation that highlights the use of teaching strategies na nagpo-promote ng literacy and or numeracy skills. Kasama dito ang lesson plan performance task, activity sheet, instructional material, test material, and others. Objective number three. Ang main MOV para sa objective na ito ay ang COT rating sheets and or inter-observer agreement forms sa teaching strategies to develop critical and or creative thinking as well as other higher order thinking skills. Ang supporting MOV na maaaring gamitin ay isa sa mga sumusunod na nag highlight ng application of teaching strategies to develop critical and or creative thinking as well as other higher order thinking skills. Maaaring isama ang lesson plan, performance task, activity sheet, instructional material, test material, and others. Tumungo naman tayo sa Key Result Area number 2, Learning Environment and Diversity of Learners. Objective number 4. Ang main MOV para sa objective na ito ay ang COT Rating Sheets and or Inter-Observer Agreement Forms sa Management of Classroom Structure in Meaningful Exploration, Discovery, and Hands-On Activities. Mayroon itong supporting MOV. Ang maaaring gamitin ay anyone used during observation that highlights management of classroom structure in meaningful exploration, discovery, and hands-on activities. Maaaring gamitin ang lesson plan, performance task, activity sheet, instructional material, test material, and others. Objective number 5. Ang main MOV para dito ay ang COT Rating Sheets and or Inter-Observer Agreement Forms on Teacher Management of Learner Behavior Using Strategies Including but Not Limited to Providing Motivation Praising the Learners or Giving Positive Feedback Setting House Rules or Guidelines Ensuring Learners' Active Participation Allowing Learners to Express Their Ideas or Opinions giving equal opportunities to learners, and encouraging learners to ask questions. Objective number six. Ang 
main MOV na maaaring gamitin para sa objective na ito ay COT rating sheets and or inter-observer agreement forms on the use of differentiated, developmentally appropriate learning experiences to address learners' gender, needs, strengths, interests, and experiences. Ang supporting MOV para sa objective na ito ay anyone na ginamit during observation na nag-highlight ng paggamit ng differentiated, developmentally appropriate learning experiences to address learners' gender, needs, strengths, interests, and experiences. Maaaring gamitin ng lesson plan, performance task, activity sheet, instructional material, test material, and others. Key result area number three, curriculum and planning. Objective number seven. Ang main MOV para sa objective number seven ay COT rating sheets and or inter-observer agreement forms on developmentally sequenced teaching and learning processes para ma-meet ang curriculum requirements and varied teaching contexts. Supporting MOV para sa objective na ito ay anyone used during observation na nag-highlight ng developmentally sequenced teaching and learning processes to meet curriculum requirements and varied teaching contexts. Maaaring gamitin ng lesson plan, performance task, activity sheet, instructional material, test material, and others. Objective number 8. Ang means of verification para sa objective na ito ay ang sumusunod. Personal notes of teachers on LAC or LAC sessions or FGDs or meetings to enrich teaching practice with proof of attendance. Minutes of LAC or LAC sessions or FGDs or meetings on use of teacher and learner feedback to enrich teaching practice with proof of attendance. Objective 9 Ang main MOV para sa objective na ito ay COT rating sheet or inter-observer agreement form on the use of appropriate teaching and learning resources including ICT to address learning goals. Ang supporting MOV para dito ay lesson plan with appropriate teaching and learning resources used during the observation. Maaaring gamitin ang instructional material, performance task, activity sheet, test material, and others. Key result area number 4, assessment and reporting. Objective number 10. The main MOV for objective number 10 ay ang COT rating sheet or inter-observer agreement form on diagnostic, formative, and summative assessment strategies consistent with curriculum requirements. The supporting MOV is anyone used during observation na nag-highlight ng diagnostic, formative, and summative assessment strategies consistent with curriculum requirements. Maaaring gamitin ng lesson plan, performance task with rubrics, Activity sheet, instructional material, test material with DOS reviewed by supervisor, just like diagnostic test and summative test, and others. Objective number 11. Means of verification para sa objective number 11 ay ang mga sumusunod. Compilation of a learner's written work with summary of results and with signature of parents. Formative assessment tool. Diagnostic or summative assessment tool with TOS and frequency of errors with identified least mastered skills. Class record or grading sheet. Lesson plan showing index of mastery. And others. Objective number 12. Means of verification for objective number 12. At least four samples of corrected test papers of a learner in a learning area with parents or guardians signature and date of receipt in all quarters. 
minutes of PTA meetings or parent-teacher conferences in all quarters with proof of parents or guardians' attendance. Report card with parents or guardian signature in all quarters supported by minutes of meeting. Communication with parents or guardians using various modalities. Anecdotal records showing entries per quarter. And other documents showing learners' needs, progress, and achievements submitted to other stakeholders. Let's have our last key result area, which is the plus factor. Objective number 13. The means of verification for objective number 13, a certificate of recognition or participation, certificate of training, certificate of speakership, proof of the following, committee involvement, advisorship of co-curricular activities, book or journal authorship or co-authorship or contributorship, coordinatorship or chairpersonship, coaching and mentoring of learners in competitions, mentoring of pre-service or in-service, and others. Narito naman ang means of verification para sa mga highly proficient teachers. Key result area number one, content, knowledge, and pedagogy. Objective number one. Narito ang main MOV para sa objective number 1, classroom observation tool or COT rating sheets and or inter-observer agreement forms sa content knowledge within and across curriculum teaching areas na may proof of attendance of colleagues. Ang supporting MOV naman para sa objective na ito ay anyone used during classroom demonstration teaching na nag-highlight ang application of content knowledge within and across curriculum teaching areas. Ito ay maaaring lesson plan, performance task, activity sheet, instructional material, test material, and others. Second Objective Means of verification para sa objective number 2 ay copy of the research proposal focused on enriching knowledge of content and pedagogy. Proof of participation and or contribution to a collaborative research. Certified completed collaborative research focused on enriching knowledge of content and pedagogy. Proof of dissemination of research findings with colleagues. Proof of utilization of research findings and others. Objective number three. Ang main MOV para sa objective na ito ay COT rating sheets and or inter-observer agreement forms na nag-highlight ng teaching strategies to promote critical and or creative thinking as well as other higher order thinking skills with proof of attendance ng colleagues. Ang supporting MOV naman para sa objective na ito ay anyone used during classroom demonstration teaching which highlights teaching strategies to promote critical and or creative thinking as well as other higher order thinking skills. Ito ay maaaring lesson plan, performance task, activity sheet, instructional material, test material, and others. Let's proceed to key result area number two, learning environment and diversity of learners. Objective number four. Ang main MOV para sa objective na ito ay COT rating sheets and or inter-observer agreement forms na nagpo-focus sa management of classroom structure to engage learners within a range of physical learning environments na may proof of attendance of colleagues. 
Ang ating supporting MOV para dito ay anyone on the classroom demonstration teaching na nag-highlight sa management of classroom structure to engage learners within a range of physical learning environments. Ito ay maaaring lesson plan, performance task, activity sheet, instructional material, test material, minutes of lack session, and others. Objective number five. The main MOV for this objective is the COT rating sheet and or inter-observer agreement form na may proof of attendance of colleague from classroom demonstration teaching on effective teacher management of learner behavior using strategies including but not limited to providing motivation, praising the learners or giving positive feedback, setting house rules or guidelines, ensuring learners' active participation, Allowing learners to express their ideas or opinions, giving equal opportunities to learners, and encouraging learners to ask questions. Objective number six. Ang main MOV para sa objective na ito ay minutes ng la or LAC session or sessions highlighting one's sharing of strategies, undifferentiated and developmentally appropriate opportunities para ma-address ang learners' differences. Ang supporting MOV para dito ay anyone na nag-highlight ng strategies on differentiated and developmentally appropriate opportunities to address learners' differences. Ito ay maaaring lesson plan, performance task, activity sheet, instructional material, test material, and others. Let's have key result area number three, curriculum and planning. Objective number seven. Ang main MOV para sa objective na ito ay ang COT rating sheets and or inter-observer agreement forms on developmentally sequenced teaching and learning processes para ma-meet ang curriculum requirements and varied teaching contents na may proof of attendance of colleagues. Ang supporting MOV para dito ay anyone used during classroom demonstration teaching na nag-highlight ng developmentally sequenced teaching and learning processes to meet curriculum requirements and varied teaching contexts. Kasama dito ang lesson plan, performance task, activity sheet, instructional material, test material, and others. Objective number eight. Ang main MOV para dito ay implemented LAC or FGD plan on the collaborative review of teacher and learner feedback. Ang supporting MOV para dito ay anyone na nag-highlight ng collaborative review of teacher and learner feedback to plan, facilitate, and enrich teaching practice. Kasama na rito ang minutes of LAC or FGD session with proof of attendance and others. Objective number 9 The means of verification for objective number 9 are the following. Teaching and learning resources developed by the colleagues and critiqued on their alignment to learning goals. Lesson plans by colleagues critiqued in terms of the alignment of the teaching and learning resources to the indicated learning goals and appropriateness to the target learners. Key result area number four, assessment and reporting. Objective number 10. Means of verification for objective number 10. Any proof
proof of collaborative review if the test is designed based on its purpose. Any proof of collaborative review of the alignment of the test with the curriculum, kagaya ng formative test attached to a lesson plan, summative assessment with TOS, diagnostic test with its TOS, and others. Objective number 11. Here are the means of verification for this objective. Collaborative interpretation of the index of mastery obtained from one class. Collaborative interpretation of item analysis of quarterly examination. Collaborative interpretation of results of performance assessment. And others. Objective number 12. Means of verification are the following. Sample agreement for a learner at risk, signed by a parent and corresponding evidence of improvement. Record of dialogue and or parent-teacher conferences and corresponding evidence of improvement. Anecdotal record communicated to and signed by the learner and or parent with corresponding evidence of improvement. Sample learners' test results signed by parents and corresponding evidence of improvement. Sample of accomplished rubrics given for performance tasks and corresponding evidence of improvement. Attendance sheet or minutes of parent-teacher conference. Signed report cards of a learner at risk with corresponding evidence of improvement. Corresponding notebook or letters or proof of communication using other modalities and corresponding evidence of improvement. Learner's performance record and others. Panglima at huling key result area plus factor. Objective number 13. Narito ang mga means of verification na maaaring isama sa objective number 13. Certificate of Recognition or Participation ng Trainings, Seminars, or Workshops. Maaari ring ilagay ang Certificate of Speakership. Maaaring isama ang proof ng mga sumusunod. Service as a reliever of classes in the absence of teachers. Service as OIC in the absence of the principal. Representation in the meetings and conferences in the absence of the principal. Observation of classes of teacher 1 to 3 or master teacher 1 to 4. Assistance in the school selection committee in the evaluation of credentials when hiring or promoting teachers. Committee involvement. Advisorship of co-curricular activities. Book or journal authorship or co-authorship. Organizing your RPMS portfolio. Ngayon na meron na tayong mga MOV, maaari na nating i-organize ang ating portfolio sa pamamagitan ng sumusunod na steps. Ito ay naaayon sa RPMS manual. Step number one. Pagsamasamahin ang MOV of objectives that are under the same key result area. Make sure na ang pagkakaayos ng MOV ay sunod-sunod. For example, MOV1 should go first followed by the supporting MOV. Maaari ring i-arrange ang mga MOV base sa date, from the recent to the oldest COT rating and or inter-observer agreement form. Take note na maaaring gamitin ang ibang mga MOV kagaya ng COT ratings and lesson plan sa iba pang mga objectives. Step number 2, gumamit ng tabs labeled Objective 1, 2, 3, and so on. Pagsunod-sunurin ito. Step number 3, kagaya ng sa objective, gumamit din ng tabs labeled CRA 1, CRA 2, CRA 3, and so on para mapaghiwalay ang mga objectives under each CRA. Step number 4, 
pagsamasamahin ang lahat ng MOV. They could be either in softbound, ringbound, or fastened to a folder following this sequence. Mauna siyempre ang CRAW1, followed by Objective1 and its MOV, and so on. Step number 5. Mag-prepare ng table of contents para sa ating portfolio. Tingnan ang ating example. Step number 6. Gumawa ng cover page para sa ating portfolio. Kailangan mayroon itong name of your school, name of your rater, name of your approving authority, and current school year. Gawing simple, ngunit presentable ang ating portfolio. Step 7. Gumawa ng second copy of your portfolio for submission to your rater or approving authority. Affix your signature on top of your name on the cover page of your portfolio. The rater will need original documents to authenticate the photocopied documents. Ang paggawa at ang pagsasubmit ng electronic copy of your portfolio ay depende sa agreement with your approving authority. Tips to help you produce a well-prepared document and well-organized portfolio. Start gathering documents at the beginning of the school year. Follow the steps in preparing your documents and organizing your portfolio. Check for the completeness of the documents needed by preparing a checklist. Reproduce the documents in clear copies. Have the photocopied documents in A4, long paper, or whatever size available. Label properly all the documents for easy reference. Submit complete documents and keep them intact. Keep your portfolio simple yet presentable.